restaurant burglarized before it even opened. We're talking about the Etc. Eatery in the John's Landing area. And it's located in the old Percelli Grocery Building. And that's where we find our Chris Holmstrom, who's live with this crime alert. Yeah, Jeff and Jennifer, this happened on Sunday night. And by looking on the outside, you would never guess that somebody broke into this restaurant. But what they did is they broke into a lockbox, took out the key, and then went in. Well, this is, I mean, what we've spent the last two years developing. You know? Dreams were almost reality for Julia Webster and her business partner. The two were set to open up Etc. Eatery in southwest Portland, formerly known as Porcelli's Grocery. This is where we had a, our, all of our espresso equipment. Um, so there's a large espresso machine, commercial grade coffee grinders. All of it's stolen, and the list goes on. We're talking meat slicers, storage pans, and cups of all sizes. See this box right here, which only has one glass left in it, but there are about 15 of these boxes. Julia estimates the loss to be about five to ten thousand dollars. A lot of money, especially when you're trying to start up a small business. It was a punch. I mean, it was for sure a punch. I, it was, it's going to hurt us. A huge punch for sure, but the reason they're talking is because they want other small business owners to be on alert, especially restaurants. We felt secure. I mean, we didn't have cameras, but we had a lockbox. We limited the amount of people that were coming in here, and, and they, they cut the lockbox right off. They walked right up the street, busted it open, grabbed the key. A discreet job no one saw coming, including this neighbor, Rick Graw. I was getting ready to interview him when Julia walked by. He had these words on behalf of the neighborhood. Definitely, yeah. I know, we're very excited and like, I don't know, we've felt that. Like, we've felt that from you guys, so it's yeah. kind of been a bummer. Like, You're part of the neighborhood. You're I know, we feel that, now, totally, you know? yeah. So we, we, we just, our hearts went up to you yeah. guys. Yeah, I'm back out here live. Pretty cool to see all the support from this community. Now, I also just spoke with the owner of this business. She says she did speak to Portland police, and they tell them it'll be a while before they get to this case because at this point, they're so backlogged. Reporting live from Southwest Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin6 News. Well, and the owners also hope to still be open by summer. By the way, we found